You are now listening to 1K Away. Welcome back. Why are we saying welcome back? <laughs> because this is show 1A. 1A? <laughs> what happened to show 1? Oh, man. I don't know. If you tell me, uh, you kind of you took it right with that oh, one. Oh, yeah. Well, first, my name's Kiko, right? So, yeah, Kiko right, so, in the right, house. Yeah, that's a weird name. We'll, we'll have to explain that. I don't know when we're going to explain it, though. Yeah, one day it'll come along. One day. I mean, and it's kind of weird that we're not referencing how Coco is kind of a weird name. <laughs> well, we'll and I, and I'm, I'm the white guy in the room, and I'm <laughs> being called Coco. That's <laughs> Why's your name Coco in your... Hmm. Mm. I want to get back to that one, too. So, yeah. So we had this is a, what our second show now. This is show number two. We had a show. We we actually are going to replace the show that's up there right now. It'll be like archived. <laughs> That'll be that's like in the vault. <laughs> we don't. That'll be like special release when we're big yeah. and famous. Oh well, I don't know. It might be like a subscription show or something. That'll be the uh, eighteen and up uh, rated NA. Well, it's like is it NA? No, what is, is that? It? Is it what's what is it when you is it not rated NR? Or something? NR maybe. Is yeah. it, what is it when you can't watch a movie? I know it's eighteen and up. I know it's you got rated R and then uh, you have something else after the R rating. I can't. What is what the R is. rating? I don't know. Porn? Yeah, no. So porn is like uh, it's triple X or something. I don't know. Some porn's kind of, you know, it's kind of weird though. It's like uh, Cinemax porn. You got your Cinemax porn and you got your... You got your Oh My God porn. You know, like 10 Guys, Five Fists. What porn are you watching, dude? <laughs> you went straight to the 10 Guys. I don't know. Like... And, then, and then it's like a circle going on. And then, no, what no. circle jerk porn are you watching over there? You got 10 guys in a circle. I don't know. What, I don't watch it. I'm just saying, I've heard stories about these different types oh, of porn out there. Oh, goodness. I'm totally re- reconsidering what I'm doing right now. Uh, well, I don't know why we're doing this. But oh yeah, so anyways, a TV, it's not MA. It's and I don't know what it is. I can't. Your audience is I don't know. I don't know. So anyways, uh, first show, you know, I kind of got a little bit drunk, uh, just a little bit, a little bit, just a little bit. I drank a little bit of beer yesterday. We had like a nice little get together. We had some dinner. Found out a few things about them. I wish I didn't know. Well, yeah, you know, I, I don't know. And then I decided <laughs> to we we recorded something. It sounded great. And that's the problem now, is we have it on recording, you actually say it, now you can't deny it. Uh, that's true. <laughs> but I'll have to delete it slowly off the internet somehow, I don't know how. You can track down all seven of our SoFall followers oh, so yeah, far? that's right, we had listeners, we never, we never advertised, but we all of a sudden had seven listeners after I just posted it today, it was just crazy. Heck yeah, guys, so, so appreciate it out there for the guys who downloaded it first, and uh, hopefully here's the many more. Yeah, man, so that's awesome. All right, so... What are we doing? Who are we? I don't know. Ah, oh, man, we're just two guys who kind of grew up together and uh, wanted to start a show because we love kind of going back and forth. Banner, we tend yeah. to make our friends and family crack up whenever we're around them, and uh, unfortunately, it's, figured, it's hey, I don't think it's on purpose though. I think sometimes I just say maybe they laugh time. at us, not as much with definitely us. Definitely at us, okay. definitely <laughs> not with us. <laughs> They're like, oh, look at those freaking idiots! What the heck are they doing? Oh, we're making a career out of it. That's what we're doing. <laughs> I don't know. This isn't really much of a career. No, really. hey, yeah. you never know what happens. Man. I think podcasting. I think you spend more money than you make. I That's think. probably, but hey, if you're having a good time, it's better than spending money on. Uh, Five, uh, ten guys in a circle jerk porn. No, why? Well, who would spend for that? I don't understand. <laughs> First of all, you don't have to spend money on porn anymore. If you're freaking spending money buying porn, uh, we got some issues. Yeah, there's definitely some issues. I mean, the fact that, what was his name? What was that guy that had the Girls Gone Wild thing? Oh, I don't even remember his name. I, didn't he do stuff with like MMA or something at a point? I don't fighting. know. He, yeah, well, Joe, anyway, Joe, Joe Rogan. Joe Rogan. No, I, Joe I, th- Rogan. I think he hosted him. Yeah, no, Joe Rogan's not the Girls Gone Wild guy. No. no I, I thought he was something to Joe, do with it. I don't know. Joe Rogan was like Fear Factor, and then he got all diesel, and then he started doing like the whole MMA announcements and all that crap. Uh, whatever, Girls Gone Wild guy, we miss you. Please come yeah. back. Yeah, wherever you are, buddy. But anyways, he made money because people wanted to buy porn. I don't oh, understand that. But it wasn't even really porn at that point. Just girls lifting their tops off and getting water thrown yeah, all Yeah, yeah. Well, you know, I guess really it's. I think the problem. No. I think the problem was he started doing it with sixteen-year-olds. Well, and, see, uh, and that's the problem, right? <laughs> Again, <laughs> <laughs> I don't understand how that happens. Freaking, he's an idiot. But oh well, he's. I think he got locked up too for like tax evasion, something like that. Yeah. So tell, tell me, speaking of speaking of porn, man, you remember growing up on how you would actually see the little bit of porn that you could ah uh, you know like it was through like freaking blurred lines because you yep. know how like playboy yeah, channel oh, man. well see we didn't so we didn't have cable for a while right 
so then you know you had like these different ads and like you know we'd get like magazines in the in the mail and stuff and i'm like oh okay Victoria's but then, secret Victoria's secret oh, magazine my goodness. that's amazing like as a little kid i kind of got you know a little 13 14 years old you get a Victoria's secret magazine in the mail yeah i don't understand mom's wondering where description is i don't know i don't know and then it's in the bathroom and then pages are stuck together i don't know how it happened but <laughs> But that's all right. So, <laughs> <laughs> but my buddies they had cable, and when they, uh, you know, we'd stay stay over, have a sleepover or something, they'd have like the squiggly lines between the channels. Do you remember that? Oh yeah, dude, that was a Playboy channel. Man. Like you could just get on the channel and you could see like a little boob. Every here. once in a while, it would squiggle the right way, and then the yeah. boob would just be there, and you'd be like, yes. And then sometimes it would just come right on up. Like you could see like the clear as day picture, and then it would go away. About four seconds long, you're like, yes, no. <laughs> <laughs> four seconds it was enough for later though yeah about 13 14 <laughs> let's trash that or uh, store that in a spank bank <laughs> it was in the spank bank he took that mental picture and that was it gone so l- let me ask you this okay what was your first experience with real porn real porn uh i don't think i you know i when i moved out of the house because i wasn't really i'm actually now i'm still not a porn guy but when i moved out of the house my roommate he was into porn <laughs> <laughs> we may have to talk about him one day. That is a totally another story. <laughs> He's like a total different subject. <laughs> but anyway, he was really into porn, and like he knows. I mean, I think he still knows porn actresses' names, right? Yeah, uh, you know him. Um, I'm I'm sure he knows quite a few of their names. I think he still knows names, and he knows like you know where they are and all that crap. And crashed a few computers in his time. I, I don't know. So, anyways, he was watching porn. And then I think, like, uh, he, like, said, oh, blah, blah, blah. But it was kind of weird. My first experience was watching it with a dude. Wow, okay. I, I think I might have you outdone, though, a little bit here. Uh-oh, All okay. Right. So my first ex- porn experience is in my house, about 14 years old, 14, 15 years old. Kind of going through the house, looking for stuff. <laughs> I open up a filing cabinet in the laundry yeah. room. Yeah. And I find my stepdad's retro 1970s. 1970s. Video porn stash. Talking afros on the head and the bush. Oh, yeah, that music going on and everything like that. Problem was, I got so freaked out when I was watching that I accidentally left one of the tapes in the VCR. So, needless to say, I kind of got... They were wondering why that was in there. and that's not good. That's I bad. think he was more mad that my mom made him get rid of the stash that's after bad. I found it than he was that I that's actually really found bad. it. That's not good, man. That's not good. So then, like, what kind of porn was it, though? Like, Because that was 1970s porn. What's that like? It was like bell bottoms. I mean, there was a lot of them had more hair on the bush than they did on the head, dude. Yeah, I know, right? I could imagine, right? Had that's hair disgusting. picks sticking in it and everything oh, like that's that. Oh, that's disgusting. That's disgusting. <laughs> I, don't wanna, I don't even want to think about that, but I'm going to look it up when lots you do. Of, lots of good... <laughs> <laughs> It was very colorful, very colorful. Oh, yeah. They had, like, bell-bottom jeans. Oh, yeah, man. Bell-bottom <laughs> jeans, tie-dyes on the wall, you know, tie-dye sheets. I mean, it was, it was pretty uh, crazy. I might have to check that out. I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> we'll see. What Do you remember any names or anything? Oh, dude, no. Such a long time ago, and I have not gone back to try to do this I'm search. very curious, though. Like, what were the names of the, the videos, right? Like, were they, like, I don't know. Scissor Man Crazy or something like that, or Pick Fred Frotastic. Maybe, or maybe I'll, maybe I'll uh, ask my dad for next week's episode. <laughs> yeah, yeah. See, see yeah, can, yeah, maybe we'll have him in. Yeah, yeah, hey, yeah. why did you have these collections of <laughs> seventy porn with bushes and picks? <laughs> oh my goodness! <laughs> I don't understand. childhood memories at this point. <laughs> yeah, I don't know, man. I, other than that, man, I really the only other times that I've seen some porn is uh, I, we'll probably have to do this for another day too, but. I've had uh, some funny, some funny friends that you know have done some stuff, and it's, it's interesting. We'll have to maybe they'll come in and say hi. Yeah, right. Uh, maybe right. we can get them on, make make them famous. <laughs> yeah, maybe we could, you know, like they, uh, they, could, they could sell their uh, things uh, through our show. <laughs> we could have a sizzle reel. We could play it, <laughs> and they'll be like, "Oh, okay." So you see how your cheek was extended when that went in, and, and then they could comment on like how it was that time. Oh my goodness! Or what they were going through, like what were they thinking? What do you think? No. I don't know. Um, <laughs> probably not. They're probably, they're probably already our friends than afterwards. <laughs> oh my god! Yeah. So we'll, we'll bring them. We'll bring them in, and they're gonna talk. And we'll just put them on the spot. This is horrible. Yeah. Yeah. I, I think that's gonna be a good idea. I think we need to. And I've got like maybe two people that we could probably bring in right off the bat. I'm pretty sure I know exactly the same two. Well, you probably, yeah. probably include the third. Oh, you know what? 
Oh, you know, I didn't even think about that. You watched the video. Didn't you watch a video? We all watched the video. I didn't watch it. I wasn't there. No, I wasn't there. No, you're talking about... I wasn't there. It was a 10-second video. I wasn't there. Uh Uh-uh. Yeah, see, I don't even know. I've never seen that video. I've only heard stories, man. Oh, my goodness. I wonder if he still has that video. Uh, Let's just put it this way. Wouldn't uh, take up the whole episode of our show. (laughs) No. (laughs) That would be, what, 10 seconds? Not even 10 seconds. Wouldn't take up our intro. (laughs) Not even. Like, hi, my name is... And it's already... Done. Done. <laughs> That's horrible. Oh, if you're going as buddy, I'm right sorry. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but yeah, man, freaking. So yeah, so who are you? I don't understand. So we met long time ago. When did we meet? I don't even remember. We met uh, when our mutual friend um, moved in uh, with his cousin. Yeah, who I was really good friends with. Yeah. Became friends with him. Yeah. You started coming down because uh, you know, coming down to see him. Obviously, you were 18, 19 years old, so yeah. getting out and about a little bit more. Yeah, yeah. So I was like a couple years older or whatever. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, whatever. you're a couple years older than me. I was fifteen. Yeah. I was fifteen, sixteen at the time. You yeah. You were eighteen, nineteen, and just looking to be a jackass. So I scarred you then. I was. I added to the scarring of your development then. A little bit. A little bit. Oh, that's not good. That's not good. I but uh, you know, I kind of got over the uh, mean black man yeah, thing well, going on. Know, so. yeah. Well, see, we didn't even talk about that. People don't even know. <laughs> <laughs> right now, we're colorless, man. You're. Coco. <laughs> if they can't tell by her voice, who's the black guy? Oh, oh yeah. Well, I don't know. <laughs> Didn't you have chicken and waffles for dinner tonight? I did have chicken and waffles and for I dinner. And I had Brussels sprouts. What the? <laughs> <laughs> You're also the one drinking three shakes a day and oh, uh, yeah. nothing else. So yeah. I'm going with the high cholesterol. I'm the fat white guy. Oh, no. the shaped black guy. You know what's so funny? That's the problem, right? About hereditary crap, right? See, you're bigger, right? And you say you got high cholesterol, yep. right? Look, you. Well, you see, I'm like a little bit fit. I'm not really like you know, but. I have high cholesterol. My cholesterol was, I was 21 and it was like 220, or some crap like oh, that. Oh my goodness. Yeah. And my triglycerides were high and freaking. It's a lot of fried chicken. It was a lot. Man. <laughs> bro, we don't even do, fried chicken wasn't even half of it. <laughs> but I, I know right now we've got, let me see. I've got, what, three shakes a day that I'm doing. I'm doing like freaking protein shakes. I'm freaking working out. You know, I'm, and I, my cholesterol was still high a couple of weeks ago when I donated blood. That's nuts, dude. It's hereditary, man. Sometimes I, you can't fight that. Yeah, I think it is. You know, like with my side of the family, I know cancer runs. Mm. You know, grandfather passed cancer, cancer cells, mm. you know, throughout. Mm. So alcoholism too, man. That's another huge thing yeah, to look right? out for. So. Right? Man, this became the disorder show. I'm saying, dude. <laughs> the first show, I was drunk as a skunk, and we're freaking talking all over each other. The second show, we're talking about dying and hell and alcoholism. Whoops. <laughs> yeah, right. Put down the bottle. I know, right? But, you know, I, the problem is cancer, man. I, I believe they have a cure for cancer. They got to have a cure you know for what cancer. I mean? they're, they're freaking making money on the drugs. Oh, yeah, absolutely. I mean, they could actually distribute them to everybody just to make sure everyone is healthy enough. I yeah. Mean, the amount of money they charge for this stuff, I think we actually talked a little bit about this in our last show, Mike, uh, Magic Johnson, Magic with, Johnson. with AIDS. <laughs> yeah, right. Uh, he's the only one I've ever heard of that's been cured of AIDS. Oh, yeah, he's been cured of AIDS, and he's had AIDS for, what, 20 years yeah, or some crap cured. like that? Looks fine. He's got enough right? money. Yeah, yeah, he's good to go. He's the only person I've ever known, but, I mean, you put a couple <laughs> extra zeros at the end of your bank account, you can get cured anyway. Yeah, man. He And then, I know yesterday we were, now we're referencing a show that people will never hear again. And only seven people out there have heard this show, but uh, Magic Johnson, yeah. So he's got AIDS, and he's uh, like takes these pills, right? And these ma- and then what they tested him, what I don't know, like a couple years ago, and he's claiming that they have like fine traces or not even a trace of AIDS in his blood or HIV or whatever. How do you tell that the girl you're about to sleep with? I know, right? Hey, you know, I only got yeah, a, little a little bit. A little bit. I got, I got a little bit of AIDS. I, just got, I got a little bit of AIDS. It's, it's not full blown. I just got, I just got just, a touch. Just a little bit. You just, know, a, just a dab. Yeah, just, you, you know, let me get, let me in there real yeah, quick. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Yeah, no, no, we'll be good. We'll be good. I'm Magic Johnson. Yeah, but it's see, okay. but the good news is he ran them commercials. Remember them commercials? The no glove, no love commercials. <laughs> no glove, no love. And we had Arsenio Hall. I think it was Arsenio Hall, him and them commercials. The problem was he didn't believe in the no glove, no love. That's why I didn't have right. That's exactly right. Because, I mean, he was a basketball player. I don't think he was, unless he was shooting up steroids that we didn't know about. I don't think he was doing no heroin nah. or changing out needles that way. Well, but see, didn't Wilt Chamberlain die of AIDS, too? I don't I don't think Wilt died of AIDS. I just, I didn't Wilt write that book or how he banged like 10,000 women yeah, or something but, like yeah, that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, uh, it's a good I'm way trying, to go. Now I'm trying to think who all... Easy E, didn't he die? Oh AIDS? yeah, Easy E, Easy yeah. even out on AIDS. He went quick though. Yeah, yeah, he, yeah. I tell you what, he didn't have enough money. He didn't have enough money. Didn't have enough no. money, dude. They, they weren't big enough yet. They put him in plywood. Like if, if it coffin. was like, if it was like two years later, like yeah. he had enough money, he'd been cured. He would have been blown. Oh he'd yeah, been cured. Well, they didn't have the cure yet at that point. 
Did they have the cure? I, Magic Johnson got it back in like the eighties and nineties, just like him. He went quick. Magic oh, Johnson. Oh yeah, that was around the same time. Around huh? the same time is when it all blew up. Man, that was around the same time. Easy E. When was that? Easy E. That was the early nineties, man. Had to be. Yeah, and that's about the time Magic Johnson said he got AIDS, right? Uh, I, I'm, I'm gonna be honest with you, man. Just because of my age, you're like Easy oh, E yeah. and those guys. Like as much as I know about them. It's from the new movie that just came out. I never saw it. Compton or yeah. something like that? No, I haven't seen it. So it was pretty good, it was actually. Right. Like, I, I mean, I know who they are, but yeah, like, yeah, I didn't yeah. know the full background story behind it. So, hey, I mean, good it? movie. Ice Cube, Snoop Dogg. Ice Cube. Snoop was only a little bit. Dre. Dr. Dre. Um, and then Eazy-E. Yeah. And then uh, one or two other guys in it. Was Ice-T in there? No. no Ice-T wasn't, wasn't there. Ice Cube did... was in there. Uh, you're... Which one's the difference? Hey, it's, it's Cube... Black History Month. Why do you not know this? Why do you not know this? I don't know about Black History. <laughs> Shit. All right. So Ice Cube, which was the one in the barbershop movies? Uh, that was and like, Good Friday or was, whatever. Uh, that was Cube, wasn't it? Yeah. Cube. So T. T was in it then. No, T, T's the one married to Coco, dude. Yeah, he was like a pimp. Nah, he wasn't, he wasn't in it with them. Ice-T was a pimp. And he was he, he was with them. But he wasn't with them. He wasn't uh, with them. I don't think he was with them. He wasn't in the movie. They didn't reference uh, him in the movie. I don't know. I can't remember now. Because you had the dude in the big red jacket or whatever that just uh, got in trouble for running over that guy like a year ago or whatever. And he's in jail. Who was uh, the big producer guy? The producer guy. Oh my goodness. Suge Knight. Suge Knight. Yeah. Suge Knight was in there. Yeah. Suge Knight was in there. He was. Suge Knight was in Compton. Yeah. Or he was in the. He was in the movie. Well, he wasn't in the group with him. He was like a friend of theirs, and he started separating. Really. Yeah. Wow, I didn't know Suge Knight was like had a music career. He was the one that pulled. He pulled. I, th- I don't think he pulled Q, but he was trying to pull Dre over. He ended up pulling Dre on his side for a while. Death yeah. Row. Oh, that's Death Row. Yeah. Suge Knight was Death Row Records. Yeah. I'm, oh, I didn't. Don't, know that. don't quote me. White guy in the room teaching the black guy. This <laughs> <laughs> is bad here. <laughs> oh well, I'll do my research later. I'll Wikipedia and it'll be right. <laughs> yeah, right. Of course, anything on the internet, just like uh, be bananas in the uh, bag with oh, the rice. Man. And the, yes, they all. Oh, my gosh. So we had this dinner thing yesterday and you know so i've been making these smoothies he was talking about how i'm you know being all healthy or whatever so i freaking wanted i bought a bunch of bananas so i took a bushel of bananas and i put them in the freezer because i read that you can freeze bananas and it lasts longer we take them out to defrost them and they're nasty red or brown mushy right so then what did you tell me to do okay so i saw this video <laughs> pop up on my facebook page a while ago and i was like you know it's pretty interesting Guy took a single banana, a single took a one. whole bag of rice, dumped it into the bag, put the <laughs> banana in there, and then used a um, a hair dryer to heat it back up, and it turned the black banana brown or the uh, black banana back to yellow. And I'm sitting there going, number one, oh, that's kind of cool, but I love rice, and I'm not gonna waste the whole bag of rice to save <laughs> one fucking banana. <laughs> First off, so I, I just I told him about it. I saw this. I don't know if it's true. <laughs> yeah, he's like, no, no, he didn't. That's not how you sold it though. Yesterday you were like, I said hey, I saw man. this video. <laughs> Hey, hey, man, I got a great thing. You know, you can turn those bananas yellow again, you know? You know, when you drop your cell phone in the water, you can just put it in rice and it just dries it out, and it's brand new. It's like, you can do that with bananas, too. First off, if that has ever worked for anyone doing that, where you dropped your phone and you put it in a bag of rice, like... You know, it works, man. It, it actually works, man. I wouldn't say, like, if you dropped your phone in the water and it was on and it shorted out, it would work. But if you just had a little bit of water... If it you was, dropped it in it a was, very small puddle, maybe. You dropped it in a pool? Like, you jumped in a pool with it in your pocket? This shit ain't coming back. I don't know, man. I, you know, I, I don't know, man. People have dropped it in toilets and taken it out and put it in a bag of rice. That's why I got the uh, S7 Edge. Because it can water go in the toilet? Really? Water resistant, dude. Well, let's go put it in the toilet real fast. Uh, maybe not the toilet. We got, <laughs> we got a pool we can go jump into and try it out. <laughs> I don't know. You know, you know what's sad though is I haven't even tried it in the water yet. Like I'm, I'm like still petrified. You know, really? Like, you should try it. Because although I have insurance, I can be like, hey, it's water resistant, and yeah. it didn't work. They're gonna yeah. be like, okay, it's gonna take two weeks for us to get you your replacement. Who the fuck wants the? Do, wait two but weeks? does your screen have like a? Does it have a? Is it messed up already? Does it have like a line or something? Yeah, it's got like stuff? a pink line. I saw that yesterday. Yeah. What happened, man? I not a clue. Well, go. It just started kind of slowly coming in there. Huh. Um, you know, I got kids, so my youngest was playing my phone for a while before mm. we got him a tablet. But mm. it wasn't anything with dropping or anything like that. I just I really don't know what happened with yeah. it. And I've brought it into them, and they're like, yeah, you know, you can leave that here with us, and we'll get you a replacement. Um, I don't think because it's, it was a manufacturer issue, it wasn't like something because of visual damage. Yeah, yeah. So I had it a while ago where like my power button wasn't working right on my phone from a previous one. Yeah. And although I had an insurance, it normally cost you like a hundred bucks to replace the phone. This one didn't cost me anything because it was a manufacturer <coughs> defect. It yeah. wasn't. There was no water in it. They checked it for all that stuff. So that's what a lot of people don't realize. Did you have the phone that blew up? 
Did you have no, that? No, I did not have the Which note. Which one was that? That's the note. The note? note 7. Oh, man. Oh, dude, that's the craziest thing. When I went to Chicago, yeah. it, like, you're reading, because I, I vape. So, I'm oh, reading, yeah, we like... Got a vape, I, we got a vapeaholic over so, here. So, I'm it's reading, I'm like, can I, can I bring my vape clouds. on the plane? Like, how do I do it? Yeah. Clouds. So, <laughs> <Vaping> clouds. <laughs> so, can I bring my vape on on the plane so yeah, I'm fine. reading reading on what you can't bring so going through the list obviously you can't bring firearms can't bring lighter yeah, you can't, yeah. can't bring all this stuff vape's fine you know yeah. obviously you can't smoke it on the plane but I'm going through the canots it's like no lighter no gun no knife no uh, Segway I'm like Segway what's Segway the, who's going to bring a Segway bring on, the, Segway on the plane and then it's like no hoverboard I'm like and then all of a sudden, no Note Seven because they blow up. And I'm yeah, like, yeah. Oh my god! Isn't that crazy? God. Right? Like they just like call out that phone. And then when they freaking when you're on the plane, they say, "Excuse me, ladies and gentlemen, blah blah blah." And they go through all the safety crap and they say, "And if you have a Note Seven, you need to let us know exactly, right?" And yeah. then you know that stupid idiot that doesn't say anything. No, mm-hmm. I'm gonna blow the plane up. But right? so, hey, it never happened. So, but I was actually. Uh, m- my boss for my main job here that I work for was actually, we were talking about that one day yeah. and he was talking about all the people that he had read stories on that had traveled, went on vacation. Yeah. All of a sudden they passed that law and they're in foreign countries and stuff and they won't let them on the plane. Yeah, that's phone. stupid. I'd so, smuggle that crap. So you got to, they were making them throw their phones away. I'd smuggle it. Well, I, I mean, they knew exactly what to look for going through the scanners and, and, and you know, oh, detectors really? and stuff. Because you know, well, you ha- remember, you have to put your phone in the basket uh, and if it's on you, they're going to make it. You take can't it like pack anyways. it in your luggage? You can, but it's still going to get scanned, and they're going to pull it out. They oh, have dimensions and stuff like that. Oh, so, that sucks, man. I mean, and, and the oh, thi- I'd be so ticked. Well, and the problem now with phones nowadays versus what they were is, remember the old phones, you could pop the back off, right. and the battery out. Right, right, You right. can't do that with no phone. Right. So that was like that for the old one. You could just pop it off, keep it off, and right. just be able to go on the right. plane. Like, right, right. So then what, what happened to all these people's data, man? They freaking had f- photos. You wanted to get home? So people that were, say, in Cancun or Costa Rica on vacation or honeymoon or whatnot, yeah. you had to throw your plane, uh, phone away, otherwise you miss your Screw flight. Screw that. Screw that, man. You're going to miss your flight and have to and pay know, top man. dollar? I got to figure out something about that phone, man. It's like, I don't even know phone numbers anymore, man. Do you know anyone's phone number? Yeah, don't, but don't you have, like, a, I mean, you got the cloud. You got, yeah, I like, got I got, I got Google back everything up yeah. and stuff like yeah. that. You but know? it doesn't back up my photos. Mine no. does. Mine goes directly into my Google account. Yeah, but I got like thousands of photos. So man. do I. Really? Yeah. Uh, I, I don't know. I don't trust it. Yeah, no. Backs <laughs> everything up. I, I, got, I got photos that pop up every once in a while from years and years ago before I even had this Really? Photo. Just pop up from my Google account. Just mm. giving me memories and stuff like that, man. It's great. Mm, that means kinda, it's searchable, man. Kind of like that Facebook memory thing. Now, what do you uh, think of that? Yeah, I don't know, man. That's kind of weird, man. It's that like, is weird as hell. It's like Coco and Kiko have been friends for nine years right? or something like that or 10 years, 15 years. Or how about, you know, going on this day with this girl and you're like, Thanks for bringing up bad memories. I know, we right? broke up like years like long ago. Time ago. And I'm married too, by the way. Yeah. You just got me in trouble. Right? Here it is. <laughs> Here it is. Here's some evidence of back in the day. <laughs> I don't understand it. See, man. now what would make that really a lot worse, I would think, is so you were tagged in it. So you were dating the chick. Yeah. You did the pictures. You posted it on Facebook. Yeah. You know, oh, we're going to be together forever. Love you, love you. Yeah. So, obviously, a few years later, you've broken up with this girl. Yeah. It was she psycho? Up. It pops up. No, no I'm, was she I'm crazy? Just, I'm just saying. She I'm just psycho. wondering. Was she, she be crazy? Psycho. So let's was say she's she hot, psycho. though? Oh, of course, she's gotta be did, hot. What did she have? Did she have some dimensions going on? Oh yeah. Well, no, well, tell me about the dimensions. <laughs> no, I mean this look, is all adds to the story. Right, I need so, facts. Well, there was five, uh, ten guys in a circle. Okay, ten guys. <laughs> the, <laughs> and she was in the middle. So, could you see that where it pops up for you and you're like, oh hell no, delete, and then all of a sudden you get tagged in it because just because she likes it mm. and it pops up on your face. That's not good. That's not good. No, that's bad. Man, that's it, bad news. They're that's just news. calling for that's breakups at that point. Well, but see, that's what you know. So I watch Maury every day. <laughs> And that's what I see all the time. They're always talking about Facebook and Instagram and Snapchat. You are not the father. And then, yeah, and then they do <laughs> DNA tests all the time. They're doing these lie detector tests. But see, the problem is, man, Facebook, it gets people in trouble everywhere, man. People come out of woodwork, high school, all kinds of crap. Facebook is, I mean, look, it's positive for some things. It's negative for others. You just got to yeah. be able to control it. Like, I mean, I got three kids myself. But, yeah. Uh, my oldest is 13. Yeah. Don't have a social media account. Really? Not allowed to have He's not interested or he just doesn't want it? They or are, but don't. I mean, we kind of set a precedence a yeah. few years back that, look, guys, until you're at least in high school, yeah. you know, you don't need one in middle school. You're still too young for a lot of the stuff that can come on there. Yeah, especially. Makes sense. I mean, think of it us growing up. I mean, we didn't have Facebook. No. Nah. We didn't even have really MySpace until we got out of high school is when MySpace really started coming around. That's true. That's true. So, But I had like Prodigy and AOL and stuff like that and CompuServe. Yeah. And yeah. I, I mean, don't know if you know what all that stuff is. AI, like. Instant Messenger and Instant stuff like Messenger that. Instant Messenger and ICQ but now, and all that. Now you got cyberbullying and all this other crap, which is a lot worse than the actual physical. What's cyberbullying? What's that all about? Well, I mean, cyberbullying is just, I mean, you could 
make one post about somebody and saying something wrong about a man and all of a sudden it's blown up everywhere. Really? Yeah. Shoot. I mean, you're friends with 50 people at school. They're friends with another 50 people. You make yeah. one comment, it starts getting liked around. Like you call one kid gay or something like yeah, that. And all yeah. of a sudden the kid's getting picked on oh, school sucks, for it. Man. That sucks, You know, it's one thing if one kid picks on another kid. I mean, I mean, bullying's bullying. It's going to happen. Yeah. Is it acceptable? No. But when you, when you involve social media into it, and within five minutes, pretty much the entire Hundreds school of people know, can yeah, see, see yeah, it. Yeah. Now this kid's walking around going, wondering what's going on. And then it brings other people out. It, yeah, there was a girl actually in Florida. She like climbed to the top of a water tower and jumped off, killed herself. I, I think she hung herself yeah. on it. I know, well, there was another girl in, in Florida. Uh, she live, she Facebook lived her death or something like that. And I hung herself that. in a I, tree or some crap. Yeah, I heard Ain't so that crazy, much. man? Kids, man. But, that, but that's what's happening now. It's tough now, to be right? a kid now, huh? Well, I mean, you also don't have the parents that are helping them kind of get through it. And they're not yeah. putting the boundaries on what they actually have. Yeah. And not only from the kids being bullied, and I'm not putting any blame on the kids that, who are being bullied, but the kids who are doing the bullying. Yeah. Like, when you actually look into it, like, I know what my kids, for the most part, do. Like, I'm yeah, going yeah. gonna, gonna to say I know about 90 to 95% of what that they do. Are they being bullied or are they the bullier? No, they're not the bullier. Um, my my oh, the bully. I don't know where uh, the bully and the bullier. You know, I I, I want to teach my kids. Obviously, every every kid's gonna be bullied at some point in their life. Yeah, I yeah, yeah, I, yeah. I feel every kid's gonna get made fun of. Every of kid's course, gonna get yeah. pushed by somebody who's bigger than them. There's sure. always gonna be somebody bigger and better. Right. I teach my kids to stand up or for what's bigger right. and fatter. And bigger and fatter. fatter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, it's usually the fat kids that are the bullies, right? Yeah. Usually. I mean, you get like the five foot tall fifth grade fat kid, right. and then all the other kids are like four three and exactly, like sixty right? pounds, and this kid's like a bucket. And maybe maybe the fat kid failed grades twice or something like yep. that. You know what I mean? And that's usually the bully. And that's what's so funny is. You could turn it around if you were smart like that as a kid, but most as a kid you don't know. No, you're scared. Right? You're scared, right? scared of the physical side. Exactly. You know? right? Like this kid's yeah. gonna sit on me. Like, yeah, what exactly. The fuck? <laughs> yeah, exactly. But yeah, I mean, teach your kids in, in essence just to kind of really stand up not only for themselves but for other people, man. Yeah. And it just cause just help save a lot of pain and suffering for people, man. You know. Yeah. yeah I obviously, just think about it. And that's why I teach my kids, man. If you know, if someone was messing with you, would you want someone to step up and say something? Yeah. Then, no. then do the same for somebody else. Or punch them in the balls. Yeah. Hey. I mean, that's pretty much the that's the answer. Look, I think. I've told my kids too, man. So yeah. Let them, there, sw- let, yeah. Let, them let them swing first. Let they, them they swing touch first. You, they but, t- and then there's no such thing as a dirty fight, right? Oh, Whatever no, you need to do to not. win, right? To, to get away. Yeah. Exactly. I mean, you put them on the ground. Whatever you need to do to win. Absolutely. Especially my daughter. You yeah. Got anywhere near you? Yeah. Nuts. Yeah. Kick them in the nuts, nuts, right? Exactly. Straight from the nuts. See, because we had to add a little levity there because it got so serious. I was yeah, about yeah. to cry. <laughs> like I'm good in post production. I'm put violins in the background. <laughs> Because have now, a float in the background. Well, welcome to Bully Talk. <laughs> <laughs> We're live here. Yeah. So, anywho, yeah, man. I don't so, know. went from porn to bullies. Yeah. See, that's what is Maybe this? Maybe bullies just had porn. They would be. Uh... Oh, well, I bet you they're doing porn because they were bullied, right? And they didn't feel good about themselves. Damn, maybe I should have been a bully then. Yeah, well, you know, yeah, well, you, there is a bull. I think there isn't there a bull in porn or something like that. Uh, no, I didn't say bull. I said it should have oh. been a bully. Bully. Oh, 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 oh. you're not I'm talking about Mexican porn here, buddy. <laughs> no, no, no. no I, thought, I think a bull is isn't it like a black guy that's like uh, like there's like a guy like a husband and wife. And so we start off see. talking about the ten guys in a circle. Yeah, yeah. Now you're talking about some largely hung black guy <laughs> yes. with his wife. Isn't that a bull? It... Isn't that what a bull is? You tell me, buddy. This <laughs> is all new to me. I, <laughs> I think that's what a bull is. Like, there's this guy. I don't understand why, but he's like, "Ooh, I've got a wife here, and I would like some black guy to come in and have sex with my wife." Isn't that a bull? No? I, that's called fucked up. That, but that's what a bull is. I think that's what a bull. I think that's a bull. Let's look it up. If it's uh, a bull, let us know if it's a bull or not. Oh my goodness! <laughs> Would you let your girl have a bowl? No, hell no! <laughs> she already got one right here, man. Oh. Where's he at? He's only us in the room. What are you talking about? Oh man, that's messed up. Man. That's messed up. I'm, my feelings are hurt. You're bullying me. You see that? Bullying me. Oh right here. man, I'm Pick being bullied. Hey, I'm just payback from uh, when we first met. Yeah, oh, yeah, that's right. But we're, we're going to go into that in future episodes, too. There's a lot we're doing in the future episodes. Oh, this absolutely. Just a, this Guys, is, this is just the start. This is just the second show. The first show was great, but we're going to have to take that down. <laughs> oh, yeah, definitely, definitely. Like I said, it'll be archived. It'll be for, like, special, like... 
where are they now? And then pop that episode up. You know, we'll bring back the uh, VH1s, where are they now? Oh, yeah. That one was... <laughs> <woo>. <laughs> I hope times change and then we'll oh, be okay with that. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> All right, so what, are we, what kind of time are we at? We're almost at 30 minutes, man. This is like 10 minutes longer than yesterday already. Well, y- yesterday was more my wife than yesterday. Yeah, that's true. We, we were kind of flowing. Yeah. I mean... Yesterday was pretty good, right? Yeah, oh, yeah, no. But she has the triple Bs. We, we're going to have to explain that. Yeah, what, tri- what's the triple Bs? Triple Bs mm. is balls... She's got your balls. Bills and bread. <laughs> she makes the bread that pays the bills that got a hold of his balls. <laughs> that sucks, man. I love you, baby. <laughs> <laughs> oh, see? Yeah, yesterday it wasn't like that. Yesterday it was like, yeah, motherfucker, I got this. I got my balls. In. No, you didn't say no, all no, that? No, 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 okay, all right. Sorry, no, I said she let me have one ball. Oh, like, okay, one I'm ball. Sit- <laughs> it, it is a work and school night, and I'm sitting here with you right now. Yeah, okay, yeah, see? Yeah, all right, cool. So you've got one ball tonight. I got one ball tonight. <laughs> Maybe another ball next week. We'll see. I don't yeah. know. Yeah, we might do this weekly, I think. I think weekly. I think weekly would be a pretty good yeah. idea. I mean, I hope you guys like it, and I uh, hope you want to tune in and you know download our cast every week and... Uh, you know, please write us a review. Uh, you know, we want to hear what you guys really think and maybe what we should talk about as well. But a five star review. We don't want a one star nah, review. Nah, you gotta give us that five star. Yeah, guys. the five star review is really what we want. Cause yeah. like, you know, you're scrolling through. There's a lot of selections out there, and we're not. Oh, did I tell you when I categorize? We're not in the comedy area because we're not really comedians. We're not that funny, but we're in the social culture philosophy area. <laughs> <laughs> Because how many shows, how many philosophical like freaking shows can we compete against, man? Right? How many people are looking up philosophical shows? Uh, oh, we yeah. found all seven of them tonight. I know, seven, <laughs> we have seven people, man. That's awesome. That's what I'm talking all about. Right, I'm <laughs> on that drunk. Oh, man. I don't know. We'll see, man. We'll, we're going to probably, I don't know what we're going to do with this show. We'll post it one of these days. Oh, yeah. No, we'll keep going with it and keep posting for you guys. Like I said, uh, you know, give us good, some good five-star reviews. Let us know that you like us and we'll keep trying to entertain you on a weekly basis. Well, we'll try that. So until then, I don't know, man. We'll, we'll record something else. Oh, yeah. No, we'll get something else out there for you guys. I think but... I want to make some phone calls, too. Like, we should, like, not do prank calls. Not, like, crank anchors. But, like, we should call, like, there's, like, this IRS scamming thing. Have you heard of that? Everybody's calling these IRS scam things. Like, they call you from India. And they're like, hey, you're past due on your taxes. <laughs> Hello, you have not paid your taxes. <laughs> All right, I'm offended. <laughs> <laughs> We're back to yesterday's show. <laughs> You said India. Come on, dude. Okay, so <laughs> they're like, so all right. Hello, my name is Bob. Uh, hi, Bob. How are you doing? Uh, how can I help you? <laughs> uh, you are overdue on your taxes. Oh well. Uh, what do you mean? I, I'm, I've been paying my taxes. They're automatic. I just did them last week. I mean, filing your tax return. It looks like you owe the government but more see, money. He doesn't even really sound Indian. He sounds Mexican. <laughs> I mean, I do not sound Mexican. <laughs> That's horrible. I, 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 we're not doing accents on this show. It's just not going to work out well. I can do the Russian accent. Oh, That's about maybe, it. Maybe, I can, I can maybe, do Russian. Maybe Russian. So it sounds kind of, uh, you know, feminine Russian, though. Feminine Russian. <laughs> Go fuck yourself, okay? <laughs> well, that sounds kind of like uh, like up north Russian. Yeah, I don't, yeah, 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 yeah. I don't A know. little chilly here in Siberia. <laughs> yeah, I don't, know what it, I don't know what's going on. This is. I'm concerned now. I'm very concerned. I feel like I'm being bullied this whole show. Oh. Uh, Oh my goodness. All right. So in the future, we're going to do some more shows. This is 32 minutes. This is way longer than yesterday. We're going to replace that show that's up there. What else? Oh, we'll just kind of go on. Maybe, uh, you know, next week we'll give you a little bit more insight to where we've come from, what we've done in our past. And, yeah. Um, you know, kind of go from there. I think, uh, you know, both of us at one point in time worked uh, for call center. I actually oh, still yes. do. So oh, yes. um, I'm sure most of most people out there have in some aspect that experience, whether working for getting those solicitation calls oh we can't wait we're gonna be talking about our call center experience i'll tell you next oh i'll tell you how i got somebody fired in the call center when i was like their peer for secret santa that would be a good <laughs> <laughs> all right guys so <laughs> next week next that. week how to get somebody fired from being a secret santa <laughs> only on the one k away show here. Oh, horrible. <laughs> oh man i hope that person's not listening <laughs> <laughs> all right guys all right i'm coco i'm Kiko. all right guys till next time all right see y'all later